Hi everyone, Erica Grundy here with LuLaRoe. Uh, it's been a little while since I made a video, so there's a few things I wanted to go over. Uh, kind of an update on the life of Erica Grundy and the world of LuLaRoe. Okay, that was a little crazy, but I generally tend to be over the top. Um, so I'm here just to uh, give you um, some numbers about my second month. Um, I've been in now for almost two and a half months um, total, uh, but my second full month sales I wanted to talk about in June, and it was different, not exactly what I expected. Uh, a lot of things happened here in June, so I'm looking forward to sharing with you. Um, I'm going to try to talk a little slower because I definitely talk fast. Everyone asks me, are you from up north? Because northern people apparently talk faster. I, here in Florida, do not talk slow. I talk very fast. I use my hands a lot. Um, needless to say, no, I am from here, born born and raised um, as they have in uh, on on the cars of on the back of the cars. It says flow grown, F-L-O-G-R-O-W-N. That's me. I'm Florida grown. Uh, so, anyways. Enough about me. Uh, hopefully you're still here with me. I wanted to say hi to everyone who is following me, uh, my team members, if you're watching this, how's it going? Um, very excited because tomorrow at 6.50 a.m., I get on a flight to California, baby, because I get to go to convention. I was one of the lucky people who got on the wait list or was on the wait list and got into uh, going to convention. So I'm so, so excited and looking forward to meeting uh, my team. I won't be meeting my sponsor more than likely, unfortunately, um, but it looks like I will be meeting a whole bunch of other people in my team that I didn't even realize really existed. So that's very exciting. Um, so I am first off wanting to mention uh, some changes for me. So I signed up Oh gosh, I signed up back in like February, but I got my initial inventory um, just a little bit before the beginning of June, uh, excuse me, beginning of May. It was like the end of April. So my first full month was the month of May. Now during the month of May, I was teaching. I uh, was seventh grade and eighth, seventh, eighth grade language arts teacher. And so while I was teaching and with my family, I have um, three little babies. My uh, son, Hunter, is four and a half, and my daughters, Lily and Bella, are two and a half. And so them, alongside my husband, who's basically like my fourth child, let's just be honest. Uh, no, it's okay. I love him. Love you, baby. Uh, so anyways, um, all of that to say, very, very busy individual over here. However, um, my personality tends to be the type that I like to say that I, I thrive on being busy. So I was all about the idea of working LuLaRoe. Now, when I signed up, I kind of just mentally always thought about having my own little clothing store. I always thought it'd be so cool. Um, one of my very first jobs was working at Express. And I just, one of my favorite things was opening those boxes and seeing what the inventory was like and putting them on the racks. And it was just very fun to me and putting them on the mannequins, you know. Um, so I always kind of had that deep set of thing. Uh, with that said, I had no real intention or expectation of ever reaching that goal, but I always thought it'd be kind of cool to have a little fun clothing store. Now, this is back when I was, uh, you know, 18 years old and I am now 35. So <laughs> more than half my life ago, that was what happened or half my life ago. Oh my gosh. Um, so that's enough about me, but back into June. So I looked at this as just kind of a fun thing. I saw the numbers. I was obsessively watching Facebook videos, obsessively um, contacting other uh, consultants just to get to know the product and understand the, you know, the um, the policies and understand the mission and just really kind of grasp what LuLaRoe is all about and if it was something for me. So it took me about a month to make the decision, especially with the high investment. Um, but I went for it, and I honestly can't even imagine uh, my life without LuLaRoe. So, um, so that first month I was living off of passion, baby, not really living off of sleep. I would say I was probably getting an average of four to five hours of sleep a night. Um, and really, really working the business as best as I can that first month. Uh, first month was awesome. I ended up selling, um, just shy of $11,000. And, um, that was really cool, especially considering I was working full time doing this and, you know, trying to manage family time. Uh, I quickly realized family time was was getting a little bit more on the back burner. So I wanted to make adjustments. Um, school ended for me at the June 13th. So the first two, about two weeks of June, I was still kind of focused on getting things wrapped up for school. Um, and I noticed that, of course, June months for me personally, sales went down. I kept on looking at YouTube videos, expecting to hear people saying the same thing, but everyone's saying that their sales are pretty good. And I'm like, 
well, okay. Um, it's not really like that for me, but, um, I, I jumped it up a notch. I ended up doing, um, more parties. I, um, started kind of dabbling into Periscope. I'm going to start doing Periscope shop the boxes. So I'm excited about that. Cause I think it's just so much fun. Um, I want people to, to understand the excitement it is to open a box and be like, ah, what am I getting? Is this in my size? Oh, of course not. Um, so, <laughs> but that's the fun part of one of the, one of the fun parts for me with Lula Rose. So I want to share that in, in my own way. And, and I think Periscope, um, shop the boxes work. So, uh, watch me for that. Uh, Periscope, my, my, my um, handle name is Erica, E-R-I-C-A, uh, Lula Rose, Erica Lula Rose. So you can't beat that or forget that. So, um, okay, so June, again, was a little bit slower in the beginning, so I amped it up, and uh, by the end of the month, uh, my sales, I don't have the exact number for you. If you want it, I would look it up and let you know, but I know it was not what I was hoping for, especially since I knew that second half of the month I would be able to work on it more full-time because I was in the summer for school, um, but I was still pretty solid. I was at like $8,500 in sales, and I'm pretty good with that because those first two weeks were really hard on me um, trying to get everything going for... Um, uh, wrapping up school. So it was, I'm happy again. How can you go wrong with those kind of numbers when, if you cut that in half, cause they say 50% is about what you're making. So I basically made, you know, a little over $4,000. Um, that's still more than what I make as a teacher. So, um, I was like, okay, well that'll work. Um, needless to say this month has gotten better. Uh, so far I am on track. I really, 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 my personal goal is to, um, I really want to reach the $12,000 a month so I can get to the cruise, cruise qualification. Um, I've been on a few cruises myself, but my husband never has. And I think it'd be really, really awesome to be able to take him there. Um, so I'm working hard. Uh, I am going to convention, as I mentioned, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Um, and that's going to be here and it's going to take away about five of my days. So I don't know if that's going to, hopefully it'll benefit me. I know, actually, I don't know why I say hopefully I know it will, because I've been to conventions before for DSLs and they're fantastic. So it's going to be awesome. Um, but hopefully it'll help me manage and, and boost up those sales so I can hit 12,000 this month. Uh, as of now, and I looked actually today's the 12th, I looked and calculated my numbers on July 10th. So my July 10th numbers, I was at, um, just shy of $3,000. So Again, I'm, I'm I'm on track as long as I keep the um, sales up and work hard. Um, I still have a shot. We'll see. <laughs> um, but uh, anyways, all that to say, I've been having such a good time with it. Um, and now that I have said all that, I'm going to tell you my big personal news. My team knows. Um, my Facebook group knows. But as of about two weeks ago, um, my husband and I talked about it, prayed about it, really thought about it hard. And made the decision that I am going to, or I, I did, uh, put my resignation in as a teacher. And um, primarily, it's because of my babies. Uh, to be completely honest, I love my children to death. They are so young. And I went back to teach because being a full-time mommy for three children under the age of three at the time, a little hard. <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted to do. I was like, I need some release here. So in the end, I decided at that point I wanted to teach last year full time, which I don't regret that decision at all. Um, I will probably go back in a year or maybe two, depending on how LuLaRoe does. But I just feel like um, I need to be there for my babies. They miss mommy way too much. Um, teaching is not just 40 hours a week. It's probably roughly 60 hours, especially because I get very involved. Um, and I just don't want that for my kids. So uh, with LuLaRoe, if I even do it full-time, uh, the expectation is about 15 hours um, a week extra for my kiddos. So I am all about that. And I already have my my sweet little Lily. She's in gymnastics classes, which LuLaRoe pays for. And it's uh, a former Olympian, Brandy Johnson over in Claremont, Florida. So that's fabulous. Uh, all three of my kids are in swim lessons. And my husband and I are completely fine with all this because of LuLaRoe, because of the fact that, you know, if I continually have parties every day, then what ends up happening is I have money coming into me every single day. Um, it's a beautiful thing. So needless, or every day, except weekends, you know, deposits. Um, so I have just now gotten really excited about uh, building my team. I, I was excited about it before because I love, love, love team building. I've done it with other DS companies and it's just a lot of fun to help other women uh, really succeed and um, reach those goals. I mean, I have the goal. I'm still working on paying off of my personal debt that got me into the business. I had to put it a little bit on hold because um, I wanted to build my inventory and I had been doing that um, pretty hardcore. Uh, I went from about 350 starting pieces and right now I'm at 800. And I want to jump that up to at least 1,200 because 12 is my lucky number. 
yeah, I'm kind of a dork. Uh, <laughs> so 1,200 pieces is my goal. And um, But I, I'm going to hold off a little bit more now that we're going to be doing it more full time, um, get it to 1,000, and then really start paying off that debt. But once that debt is done, my personal goal is to pay for a fence around my house. Uh, we built our house about five years ago, and it's a beautiful house. I love my house. A little too small. We'll probably have to get a bigger house in a couple of years when those girls start to up a lot more space. Twin girls. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so, um, and they've got my personality. Oh, the pain. It's going to be rough. Um, so, anyway, so we're going to, we want to get a fence because it is, uh, we're at a big corner lot and the house is desperately needing some kind of area where we can let them run and have fun without the fear of cars and things like that. Um, but it's about $5,000 because again, it's a bigger lot and we don't have anybody around us that has a fence. So we have to do the whole thing. Um, so here's hoping my hope is to get that, pay, um, uh, paid for in full with Lularo money mainly, um, by the end of the year, that's my number two goal. Number one is I want to hit this cruise qualification. Um, and, but honestly, my biggest goal is just to have fun, but continue to make money and be able to pay off bills and enjoy time with my family, really spend quality time with my kiddos. I have a wonderful nanny who's going to be helping me out part time so I can, but I still have much more time than, uh, you know, to spend with those little ones. And I'm excited to help other women really explore what it means to, you know, to be financially free and hopefully, you know, and reach those dreams and goals. So if you are one of those people who've been watching these videos and have been really thinking about it, then if you connect with me, I've had a couple of ladies uh, right now, I have a team of four and, um, I, you know, I have one lady who, um, ginger, fabulous, beautiful, lovely ginger, who's going to be, um, onboarding here in the next, I believe month or so. She's awesome. She said she just really connected with me. And, you know, um, with me personally, I didn't meet my sponsor. I met her online. Um, so I never saw her face to face and, and I obviously didn't even see her on the video because it wasn't via YouTube, but I just, I really think it's really important and think it's cool to connect with someone. And my sponsor book, Brooke, excuse me, is fabulous. Um, I am part of the team Lula anchors and, who doesn't love the anchor leggings out there? Uh, hello, that is one of my unicorns. And I don't even sail, but they are so gorgeous. Uh, octopuses. I never thought that I was super into um, sea life people, but let me tell you, they're so cute. And if you haven't heard, um, I just heard that there's not they're going to be putting a hold on solid leggings. So they aren't going to be around for a year. Go figure. It's kind of ironic because I told my husband just the other day that one of my goals is to have about 100 pairs of leggings for TC and 100 pairs for um, one size. And only have printed. I really, I, I sell solid fine and I love mystery legging packages. So I do my solids and my prints and highly recommend that people. It's so much fun. Um, and so I'm able to get rid of some solids that way. But I, you know, I just think it's really cool because the best part, one of the best parts about LuLaRoe is, are those amazing leggings. I mean, you've got millions of people out there looking for them. Okay. Million might be extreme, but a lot of people looking for those printed leggings. So um, I think it's a really smart move on their part. Uh, so I'm going to be having my own hotel room because uh, I had these wonderful ladies who said, you can come and stay with me. And I decided um, I'm going to go ahead and just have my own room because I don't get that space that often with three, uh, three kids under four. So it's so exciting for me. I'm, I'm really, I'm going to be close to the convention center, but I'm going to take the time to at least make uh, one commitment to you, at least one commitment to make a video and tell you what I've uh, learned, maybe show off anything that happened during convention, uh, maybe even two, we'll see how much time I have, but um, I'm just all around very excited. And I hope that if you are someone who is watching this and just wants some inspiration, excuse me, or, you know, has any questions, I am a very major, or excuse me, I'm an extremely, wow, let's try to rewind. Um, I am an open book. I'm willing to share and tell you everything. Um, one of the things I did, I dove in head first. I went crazy. I booked my um, calendar, if you can see that. Oh, yes. I have something pretty much every day. <laughs> um, and I did that since the very beginning, which was challenging. Some days it didn't pan out or, I, you know, I would have sometimes one day off a week or whatever. But ultimately, I book something pretty much every day. Um, it's so easy to find parties out there, people. It's amazing. They're out there. There are so many people who um, do LuLaRoe parties, like book um, hostesses as almost like a part-time job for them to get some new uh, cute clothes. I can help you find those people. Um your own family and friends. I didn't even really talk about it because I felt like, you know, I didn't want to be pushy and I didn't know much about LuLaRoe when I signed up. I just saw the opportunity and jumped in. Um, but now I see so much more to it and my friends and family are and they're like, oh my gosh, you look gorgeous. And, um, look at this print, uh, holla you, wow, this is fun. This is cute. It's stuff I would never in a million years think to even consider, but then you put it on and it just makes you feel happy and cheerful and 
the colors, the the prints, and just that that personal knowledge that there's only no more than 2,500 pieces. It, it's crazy. Um, which again, if you hadn't heard, I'm sure most of you have, but yeah, LuLaRoe, they don't make any more than 2,500 pieces of every print. So this particular amazing, fantastic print, there's only 2,500 pieces out there like this. This is actually one size too big, but you know, I don't care. I'm keeping it. Um, <laughs> so anyways, um, I hope that any of this helped and please like my videos. Please follow me on Facebook. My Facebook group is VIP Shopping Experience with er uh, LuLaRoe Erica Grundi. It's kind of a lot, uh, but if you follow, if you push on my little profile link here on YouTube, you should get that information. Um, but I just, I hope that I can get to know some people. And if you uh, have any questions, please, please, please feel free to contact me and I will see you in the YouTube and the LuLaRoe world later on. Bye.